We've talked a lot about pumps with the energy equation example, so let's take a brief aside and discuss pump and turbine power. Pump power we represent with work due to pump, right? And it is equal to specific weight of whatever gra um, fluid we're pumping times that flow rate and then the pump head. This can also be re represented with mass flow rate, gravity, and the pump head. Turbines pull work or pull power. That's why we have turbines, right? They're using fluid to power something or to create something, so they pull energy. Okay, this is going to look similar with specific weight, flow, and head turbine head or mass flow rate, gravity, and turbine head. These two, of course, can be generalized to specific gravity, the flow that we want, and the head. This is our power equation. Pumps and turbines lose power or energy for multiple reasons. Age, friction loss, cracked propellers. Okay, so then we have um, efficiency equation. Efficiency is represented by eta, and it is equal to the output power divided by the input power. We'll say, for example, that we're given a pump with an axial velocity through the pump of 6.67 meters per second. The cross-sectional area through the pump is 0.03 meters squared, and the power that the pump supplies to the water is 27.9 kilowatts. Find the pump efficiency if the pump loss is 9 meters. Our efficiency equation is power out divided by power in. So we'll need our power equation, which is gamma, Q, and in this case, HP, because we're dealing with the pump. Plugging the power equation into the efficiency equation, we have gamma, Q, and HP out, divided by gamma, Q, and HP in. Okay, this is considered an incompressible fluid because it's water, so that means that my specific weight is not going to change, and also that the flow in and flow out are not going to change. So efficiency can be simplified to the head coming out divided by the head coming in. We were given power at 27.9 kilowatts, and our specific weight of water is 9,810 newtons per meters cubed. Our flow weight we don't have, so let's calculate flow rate. Flow rate Q will be VA, because this is water incompressible, so we can use just the VA equation. And the velocity we're given is 6.67 meters per second, and our cross-sectional area was 0.03 meters squared. So that gives us a flow rate of 0.2 meters cubed per second. So that goes in here for Q, 0 0.2 meters cubed per second. And the pump head is what we're looking for for our efficiency. Now this head is the intended head that comes uh, through the pump, right? But it says here in the fine statement that the pump has a loss of 9 meters. So that means this is the incoming, so the outgoing will be that 14.22 meters minus the 9 meter loss. So this will be our outgoing. For efficiency, outgoing divided by incoming, we have 5.22 meters divided by 14.22 meters, which is equal to 0 0.367. So our pump 
is 36.7% efficient. This time we have a hydroelectric plant that uses a turbine to generate power. There is a reservoir that brings the water to the turbine that is 100 feet above the turbine's elevation. The length of the pipe between the reservoir and the turbine is 1,500 feet and that pipe has a 12 inch diameter. The flow rate measured to the turbine is 55 CFS. We want to find the power generated in horsepower uh, by the turbine if it has a 90% efficiency. So we have our efficiency equation, power out divided by power in. And we have our power equation, which is the specific weight times the flow rate times the head. First, I need to find my power. And this is water hydroelectrics. That's 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. I was given a flow rate of 55 cubic foot per second. And we were given the incoming turbine head of 100 feet. Everything here is in feet and pounds, so this is going to work out nicely. But we have a power of 343,200 pound feet per second. This is going to be our incoming power and we want to know what the outgoing is with that efficiency. So 90% is 0 0.9, and this is equal to our pout, power out, divided by 343,200 pound feet per second. And that gives us a power output of 308,880 pound feet per second. No, I don't want this in pound feet per second. I want it in horsepower. So that means I need to divide by 550. So our output power is 562 